so it's been two months two long months in which i haven't posted i haven't put up a picture nothing it's been like radio silence for my part the number one reason is that i got robbed so my laptop my phone my memory card all of that got robbed so it was like kind of like a dark moment for me but at the end of the day i survived yeah like it wasn't that deep but it was so deep but anyways that's all that there is to it but even though i was silent i was still you know putting stuff in place so that i would come back to shoot videos you know because like i can't just leave it like that and also if you would see like there's a new place in which i'm shooting i'm shooting at a place called the playground it's like easily gone i have to like give the details for all of that but we'll save that for like a little video whereby i'll sit down and i'll talk about how come i got this new gig of sorts it's my gig by sort of a new gig so my name is Ifa Labi. If you have been following my channel, you would know I do movie reviews, I do series reviews, I do like generally reviews. But hit the subscribe button, like my video, and then today, what are we going to talk about today? Hmm. So today we are going to do Black Panther. I know like at this point in time, it's been over a month since the movie came out. There have been so many thing pieces, there have been what have you, people's reviews. The think pieces, the opinion pieces, the is Africa and Pan Africa and Black America and we that we live here in Africa and all of that, all of that. So Black Panther came out, it's already at a billion, which I easily predicted. Like before the movie came out, I was like, this movie will hit a billion. And it did. So yay for black people. But what about those of us in Africa? It's just very weird. Because so this is what I'm going to do about Black Panther, right? I'm not even going to talk about like the movie in general because it's a great movie. Yes, it was a great movie. Killmonger is like my favorite Marvel villain to date because the rest of Marvel villains, they've all been trash, maybe until Thanos. But then Killmonger, yes, he had the idealism that backed his villainy. He had all of those things. My favorite people in the movie was Shuri and Mbaku because first of all, why not? But then I'm going to do this whole thing about how like the PR campaign for the PR campaign and the idea behind Black Panther and how Africa actually responded to it. Because the weekend in which Black Panther premiered, right, when they did the whole box office and it came out, Africa contributed 4% of the box office earnings. And that was like a huge deal to me. Like, I don't know how huge of a deal it is to the rest of you out there, but for me, it was a huge deal. Because think about it, this is a movie that, yes, it's a global phenomenon. And that's how much, that's how much it made sense. Even those who don't watch superhero movies, those who don't do my comic books and everything, they were still in tune with Black Panther. You didn't have to watch any show or any Marvel movie. To actually like Black Panther, and that's the thing about it because how it was marketed to us, it was like this is a movie that's going to you know talk about what is ailing us and everything. So, think about it a movie that wasn't shot in Africa, none of the scenes were shot in Africa, they were all shot in Atlanta. I think the majority of the scenes were shot in Atlanta and the rest in America. But a movie that wasn't shot in Africa, it had yes, Wakanda is an African, it's a fictional African country, so. All in all, you can't really say that they should have shot any scenes in Africa, even though there was a part where they went to Lagos. Still, they don't care, they don't like they're not obliged to shoot in Africa. But a movie that also shot in Africa had so much African appeal that Africans were willing to shut out like hard money to go and watch it. So this shows that the PR machine of Marvel really works. And the thing is that the idea behind Black Panther that this was a movie about isolationism in Africa and a movie about how the black Americans in America feel that we left them behind. It's a fair idea yeah, that there's a break between Africans living in Africa and black people living in America. Can there be better relations? Of course. But the thing is that the way the movie brought it out, it was like, you know, this is the movie that will solve all our problems. And no, it's just a movie. I, I get like the idea behind it made people come back to the table to talk about how Africans relate to each other, how as black people relate to each other. Because I followed every interview that the cast had and they weren't asked like typical superhero movie, like superhero questions like, oh, how long did you bench press? And I said, no, it was like intellectual. How do you think that people in Africa are going to relate to this? How do you think that black people are going to relate to that? And it's like, this is 
is just another superhero movie, right? And then the marketing behind the movie is what sold the movie. Because the movie wasn't sold as just another superhero movie, no, no, no. The movie was sold as an idea, as a movement, as something that will change the course of, you know, that will change the course of all superhero movies, that will even change the course of how black people are represented in movies. So Black Panther did a great job of representation. First of all, the fact that they didn't choose a quiet director to do it, big props. Because Ryan Coogler, this is his third major feature film that has had rave reviews. And it's great. The rest of the cast, Killmonger, I mean Michael B. Jordan, Chadwick Boseman, Lupita Nyong'o, Diana Gurira, all these are like amazing people. But then Black Panther, it's just, at the end of the day, it's just another superhero movie. But when you think about it, it's going to set like the benchmark for how movies are marketed in Africa. Because if for this one movie, Africa contributed 4% of the total box office, can you imagine if they do other movies that they market to us? Imagine the last thing of Scotland in 2018 and it's marketed well. We will get all the money. Not like we, but then the people that produce it and direct it. But there they day, we are going to give them a lot of money. So it bears thinking about, so Black Panther, yeah, like Black Panther was like, I really, really enjoyed Black Panther. When I was sitting in the cinema, which was full, the cinema was really full, but when I was sitting in the cinema, like, you know, all these African accents, I really want to talk about, like, the African accents, right? But then, you know, I don't know, like, some of the accents, I don't know which Africans talk like that, but then you would take it like that. I mean, after all, it wasn't the over-convoluted Hollywood African accents, like, we talk, I don't know how they think we talk, but then... It's cool. So at the end of the day, all in all, Black Panther was like a great movie. It had an amazing cast. They put a villain that people could relate to, that people actually like. I think at some point people like the villain more than they like T'Challa, which says a lot for the movie because the only villain that I thought for Marvel would have been amazing would have, was Hela. And even she was trash. So at the end of the day, Black Panther, yeah, it was a great movie. But the idea behind Black Panther is what sold Black Panther more than the movie. Because if I, I think that if you're going to market a movie about Black people that isn't condescending to Black people, that's the right way to do it. Because they didn't try to like talk at us. Because even though Wakanda is a fictional place that you know technology is that extra advanced, and even though the rest of Africa doesn't know how it is, I still like because it wasn't like. You know, trying to talk down on Africa, but they actually try to uplift Africa in its own quite idealized way. So all in all, yeah, Black Panther was cool. It was amazing. I mean, it has ninety nine percent score on the Rotten Tomato on IMDb, so it means that it did something right. And with this, I feel like other movies that come after Black Panther have to like up their game because it's already been approved for a sequel, so there's going to be a Black Panther two. I don't know if it's going to be as nice because sequels have this problem. But it's like it's a movement. I mean Wakanda forever. Right? So let's just see how it goes because already Infinity War is coming a week early. And then I, I want to see how the hype of Black Panther is going to fuel Infinity War. But then you know what? This is cool. Black Panther, if you haven't, I don't know, if anybody hasn't seen Black Panther right now, I don't know why you haven't seen it, right? Because I, I, that's why I didn't want to spoil it, because I know there are people out there that are still waiting for it to come out on DVD. Don't do that. Just go to the cinema and go and buy it and watch it. But anyways, I'm done with Black Panther. And no, I'm not going to talk about how Killmonger did anything or anything, because I feel like if you want to talk about like the exposition and the climax and the plot and all those things, a lot of people have spoken about it. The only thing I didn't like about Black Panther was the fight scenes. I felt like the fight scenes, apart from like the ones out in the field, the fight scenes between T'Challa and Killmonger in the tunnel, train, something, something, felt a little bit too weak for me. I don't know, I felt like for the last fight scene that was supposed to, you know, culminate all the passion and everything, it was just very weak and poor. And also, Black Panther in Civil War was way better fighter than Black Panther in Black Panther. So, yeah, you just have to think about that. I'm sure it's because of the purple juice that they gave to him. But then, yeah, he was cool. He did his thing, but still, still, killed like the best person. So anyways, I'm done with this video on Black Panther. Because I felt like if I hadn't done this video, I wouldn't have done it anyways. I'd just let it slide into movie heaven. But 
Subscribe to my channel, leave your comments below. Let me know what you thought about Black Panther, if you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, please go and watch it, right? Or even tell me why you don't want to see it. This is because of the hype and because people are extra about it. We are extra about a lot of things, so if you're not going to see something because you're extra, you're not going to see anything. But then I'm done with this video. I'll see you on my next video. Subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos that are going to be laid out somewhere around me. And then I'll see you.